So I'm uh, biracial, half black and half white. It just means I don't know if I should crochet or play basketball. <laughs> You know, grilled chicken or fried chicken. <laughs> but I was brought up in a white home, so I swim. <laughs> it's an easy joke for the white people to laugh at. <laughs> Black people are like, that was funny, but I will cut you after the show. <laughs> But I married a black man like an Owen, like a dark brother too, so there's no question. But I do not understand black culture at all. My husband's cousin, my husband's cousin comes to town. <laughs> and I'm like, hey man, you wanna come to one of my shows? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, for show. <laughs> no dude, not four shows. <laughs> Just one show. Did you wanna come to my show? And he's like, I said for show. I'm like, I don't, I don't understand the language of the black people. Uh, I just turned to my husband for some interpretation. My husband just steps over to my white side and says, for sure, he's coming to your show for sure. I'm trying to get the moment back, for sure, for sure. My sister calls me up, she's like, hey Lisa, <laughs> now that you're black. <laughs> I got some questions for you. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, discipline is tough. I'm a yeller, because it's the easiest thing to do from the couch. <laughs> but my husband does this thing that I call confusion discipline. This is what it looks like. Kid does something wrong. They get a spank on their butt. My husband's like, why are you crying? <laughs> You want me to give you something to cry about? <laughs> Keep on crying, see what happens. Kids are looking at me, I'm looking at them, I'm like, I don't know what to do, play dead. <laughs> Works with the bears. Uh, so I have two identical twin boys and a girl. And my boys are identical. They are alike in everything. Yes and no answers, no matter what you say. Yes and no. My daughter, <laughs> yeah, single-handedly the neighborhood watch. <laughs> Walking Wikipedia, that one. Put my kids to bed, I turn off the light, I leave the room, nothing. I don't wanna hear nothing out of you, nothing. A couple minutes later, I hear goings on coming from the bedroom. Goings on. <laughs> March back down the hallway. I open the door, the light is off, the kids are in bed, but I know what I heard. So I turn on the light and I say very lovingly, everybody get up. <laughs> I said, boys, you get out of bed, turn on that light. And the boys are like, nope. I said, Zoe, did you get out of bed and turn on that light? And Zoe said, <laughs> no. <laughs> but Nathan got out of his bed and he jumped in Elijah's bed and then he ran around the bed they tried to get in my bed I said don't you be getting in my bed then they heard you coming they turned off the light and they got back in their bed <laughs> I didn't even know what to say <laughs> but as I left the room pretty sure I heard one of the boys say to Zoe Snitches get stitches. <laughs> they pick that language up when they're home alone with their dad. <laughs> I walked in the house and I heard the kids chanting one day, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> and then my daughter looks at my husband and says, you are not the father. <laughs> I'm Lisa Gilbert, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs>